Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about baby names we loved but did not end up using. And this is the boy edition, so you'll have to tune in for the girl edition, which will be coming up soon. Um, so I just wanted to go through some pretty unique boy names. Uh, my name is Fumi and my husband's name is Obed, which are pretty unique names, you know. You don't meet a lot of Fumis and you don't meet a lot of Obeds. And so we really wanted to carry that uniqueness into our baby's name. So um, these will be names that I'm sure you've heard before, but some are not as popular today, modern day, as they were maybe in the past, or some are just like ones that probably you wouldn't hear quite often. So I thought I would share this because I know some people are similar to me that they like unique names. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So I have my baby names on my phone. I've been collecting baby names, y'all, since I was young. <laughs> like probably since elementary school in some of like my favorite books on like the last page of the book like the blank pages I would write down baby names but the baby names I liked when I was younger were wild man like they were crazy but <laughs> um, essentially that is all to say that I love finding baby names and so this list I've compiled for a really long time so hopefully you guys like some of the names that I like too um, I don't have the meanings for all of them um, but as I say them I will try to <laughs> google meanings and you will hear my son in the background and at the end of this video I will share what name we chose for my son and the meaning of that name. So let's get into it. So the first boy name that we really liked is Sam and that is spelled P-S-A-L-M and yes that is Kim Kardashian's son's name. <laughs> that is not the reason why we chose this name. We just really really like the sound of this name. Um, growing up, I had a lot of people in my life named Sam, but I didn't necessarily want to name my son Sam because it's a very stereotypical name. Um, well, not stereotypical, but it's a very common name. Um, but I liked Sam because it sounds similar to Sam, uh, but it's a little bit different and offbeat. So the, name, the meaning of that name is him, which I really like that, that as a meaning. So the next boy name that I really liked was Ethan. And I think Ethan is getting more popular nowadays. Um, there was a while where it was not popular at all. Um, and then I think a long time ago when like Passions, you know that um, soap opera? Yeah, that soap. Uh, Ethan was a name of one of like the main characters in, in Passions and I loved that, that show when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I really like the name Ethan, and I don't hear it very often. I don't know a single Ethan, but maybe it is popular in different areas. So, the, the meaning of the name Ethan is strong, enduring, and firm. And ooh, I like that for a boy's name. That's a really, really nice boy name, right? Okay, the next name I like, we, me and my husband liked, was Gideon. And Gideon is a name from the Bible. And I don't know, I I was like, when you think of names, you kind of have to play around with like nicknames and Gideon, the nickname would probably be Giddy or Gid. Sorry guys, my baby. <laughs> the nickname would probably be Gid or Giddy, Gid, Gid, Giddy. I don't know. Um, so struggling with nicknames, I don't like that. So we crossed that off our list. <laughs> But the meaning of Gideon is great warrior, and I love that as well. It's a very strong, masculine name. Um, another one we liked was Cross, and that was Cross with a K, K-R-O-S-S. -S. And the meaning of that name is a maker of ceramic kitchenware. <laughs> so... Uh, not very cool of a meaning um so yeah didn't go with that and also finding a nickname for cross i don't know what that would be i it was nothing was vibing for me another name we really liked was malachi 
and my husband really liked this name. I personally didn't like it as much because I think there was a movie I watched a long time ago where Malachi was like a gangster, like a real thug, and I was like, uh-uh, <laughs> I don't want to put that on my kid. Um, but my husband really liked that name, and I know a lot of people love that name, and I like the nickname Mal, Mal for Malachi. So the meaning of Malachi is messenger of God, and I do think that's a wonderful meaning. So it's still a really nice name. So if you guys like it, I would definitely encourage you to use it. The next name that we really liked was Knox, K-N-O-X. Um, and I'm not sure what this name means, but I really like... It was giving me Charlie's Angels vibes. I'm not sure why. I think maybe because the main guy was like Knoxley. Was that his name? Um, but yeah, the meaning is weird. It's round top hill. Not much of a meaning, but I think the name, like the sound of Knox as a name sounds really like cool, you know? Another name that we really liked was Odell. Um, and I know there's also that... Uh, um, that Basketball, not basketball, football player named Odell. Um, and the meaning is Wad Hill. And I don't really like that. Like, what is a Wad Hill? Doesn't sound good to me. So we didn't go with that. <laughs> yeah, that's not the name we chose for you. The next name we liked was Jericho. Uh, Jericho, also a name from the Bible. And the meaning of Jericho is City of Moon, which isn't too bad of a meaning, but it doesn't mean anything to us. So we did not go with that name. Um, I do like the nickname Jer though, like Jer Bear. <laughs> That's kind of cute. We really also like the name Maverick. And Maverick um, is the meaning of Maverick. The meaning of Maverick is an independent man who avoids conformity. And we liked the name Mav, but we were kind of torn with like if we liked the meaning of independence. Um, because, I mean, it's great to be independent, but sometimes it's like if you're too independent, it's like, well, are you going to listen? You know what I mean? Like, so I didn't want I didn't want a child that wouldn't listen. <laughs> And so when we thought of Maverick and we saw that as the meaning, we're just like, ooh, we don't want to put that on our kid. <laughs> Although I love the name Maverick and, you know, if you choose it as your baby's name, like, it's not to say your kid won't be an obedient kid, um, obviously, uh, but we just, we just were like, mm, maybe not. But we still love that name. And if your name is Maverick, no offense, I'm sure you're an angel. Um, but yeah, we just didn't go with that for ourselves. The name we went with is actually Cabreso. And this is a Ghanaian name, and it's actually my husband's middle name. And it's spelled K-A-B-R-E-S-O. And I love that name because it can be broken up into many different nicknames. It can be We nicknamed him KB. You can call him Bray. You can call him So-So. Like, I don't know. We like that it could be broken up into a couple different nicknames, um, and the meaning is really, really cool. The meaning of Cabreso is translated from my husband's language, um, which I believe is Ganja or Tui, I think. All you Ghanaians, please don't, please don't come for me with that um, pronunciation. Um, but the meaning of Cabreso is because of today. And, you know, it sounds like, what is, because of today, what, you know? But for us, the story that was behind it was that it's like, because of today, everything has changed. You know, um, we have a new chapter in our lives because of today. And we love that meaning because it is so true. We're stepping into parenthood. We get to meet this beautiful little boy and be parents to him and watch him grow and raise him and so it seemed like a really really good choice for us and especially since it's my husband's middle name um we had like a really soft spot for it so yeah that's that's the one we ended up with cabreso and it rolls off our tongue it works with the names that we personally have already um and 
yeah, we just really, really love that name. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sure you're surprised about some of the names that I think are unique. <laughs> um, but I hope that if you liked any of the names that you go with them. Um, and yeah, write a comment below your opinion. And I hope you like this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe, and I'll definitely be sharing more uh, motherhood kind of t content on this channel. So please follow me, or I mean, I guess that's what subscribing means. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, hope you guys like this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.